choice. Do what you want, be what you want. Agent Screw and Peters, I'm Victor Welch, VP Corporate Relations. Please sit. Thanks for taking the time to see us. No problem. You, uh, you must know Andy Stone. Our immediate superior. Do give him my regards. We're from the legal department. Hope you don't mind if we sit in. Not at all. The two of you might be interested in a free software upgrade we're offering all law enforcement officials. Better night vision for your sensing. It's improved pursuit capability. Any idea how a surrogate's head would explode from the inside? Mr. Welch isn't qualified to answer that question. What do the operators say? Not much. They're dead. If you're trying to imply a link between VSI products and an operator's accidental death... I'm not implying anything. I just want to know how an operator can be killed by signals from a surrogate. The idea itself is absurd. If it were possible, it would defeat the entire purpose of surrogacy. Surries have jumped from bridges, been shot, even blown to bits without the least bit of harm to their operators. The fail-safes always kick in. I can assure you, VSI's products have the most stringent safety standards in the industry. What about a human head? What would cause one of them to blow up? Agent Greer, we're not done. Honey, I don't know what you are. I mean, for all I know, you could be some big fat dude sitting in a stim chair with his dick hanging out.